Praise be to Jesus Christ, dear children. We are on the path of learning about God, the source of divine life, and how He created all of us and called all of us to enter into that divine life. Today, we will be learning about man who loses divine life in the second chapter. That sounds very sad, isn't it? Now let's see how it happened. Let us begin our class with a small prayer. Dear children, please join your hands and close your eyes and do repeat after me. Lord, please give us the grace to walk in your path at all the times. Amen. Before we enter into the second chapter, let us recap what we learned in the previous lesson. Do you all remember? In the previous lesson, we learned about the following. First one, God created the heaven and earth and all the creatures in it. Do you all remember what all we discussed in the last class? Great, good children. Second, we learned that God created the first parents, Adam and Eve, and gave them the Garden of Eden. And they lived happily over there with the Creator, our God. Third, God created each one of us. Fourth, we learned about the greatest happiness, that is to live with the God, to walk with Him every day, to talk to Him every day through prayers share with Him all the happiness during the day and to give God all the respect and make Him our closest friend. Wouldn't that be wonderful, dear children? Yes, I can see that smile on your face. Very good. Now, children, let us start our lesson about how man loses his divine life. Now, dear children, in this chapter, we will learn about why we must obey God at all times of your life. When we say that we love God, it means that we must obey God. We obey all His commandments and we must obey and live with Him by sharing everything that is happening in our daily life with God. Many of you know what is the meaning of obedience? Yes, yes, I can see you giving me the meaning of obedience. Very good. That means we have to obey, listening to what God tells us to do and also tells us not to do. Like we all obey our parents, elders, don't we? When we mean that we obey our parents, what do we mean? We mean that we do what they say, isn't it? When our parents tell us not to do something, then we don't do it. That's called obeying. Do you all obey your parents, dear children? Yeah, I know you all are very good children. For example, when our parents say to finish all the homework on time, we obey, right? We finish all our homework properly, so that we can show it to our teacher in school or when our parents say don't play with fire we don't do it, right? Why? Because if we play with fire something wrong may happen this is called obedience Why do our parents say don't do this, don't do that? Can anyone tell me? Yes, our parents say don't do something like playing with fire because they don't want us to get hurt. They don't want us to be in pain. They want us to be always in a safe place, out of danger. Why? Because they love us so much and they want us to be safe. In the same way, God tells us to do certain things and tell us do not do certain things. 
what are some of the things that god tells us to do think getting it yes god tells us to obey our parents our elders teachers god tells us to pray to him every day like talking to him every day in our life through our prayers he want us to share everything of our life with him god tells us to help the poor people or anybody who need our help maybe your friends your siblings your parents yes he wants us to help those people who are in need and now my dear children can you tell me what has god told us not to do yeah you have to think about all those things god tells us never say lie we don't benefit anything by telling lies so my dear children we should never lie god tells us never harm anybody we should not get into any kind of fight with our friends we should not harm any animal or birds or plants why is god telling us all these things why my dear children because he does not want us to get hurt or hurt anybody he does not want us to become a bad children when we obey god he will be very happy and we also become very good friends with god wouldn't that be a wonderful thing to live happily with god being his best friend yes i will tell you a small story now this is the story of a chick that did not listen to its mother hen and went far away got lost and he was almost going to be swooped away by an eagle mother hen reached just in time to save the chick now what is the moral of the story it is to listen to your parents they tell you not to do something just to protect you just to keep you safe did you know what happened to adam and eve in the garden of eden they were living very happily with god yes or no yes we learned this in the first chapter but dear children one day something terrible happened adam and eve were walking in the garden very happily that lovely garden where they had made friends with so many animals and birds and every evening they used to walk with god and share everything with the god imagine children such a beautiful time but one day satan came to eve and told her that he can be as powerful as god himself he was trying to fool her you all know and told her to eat the fruit from the tree of good and evil god had told adam and eve clearly not to eat the fruit from that tree but satan wanted to take adam and eve away from god So he told Eve that if you eat that fruit you will become as powerful as God himself. First Eve was not convinced. But then slowly she thought it's okay to eat that fruit from that tree of good and evil. She took a bite. The fruit tasted good and then she told Adam come have a bite of this fruit it is so juicy and suddenly they felt so bad that they had disobeyed the god they were so ashamed of themselves they were so so afraid they hid themselves behind some bushes see children what happens when we commit sin by disobeying we feel sad and we feel ashamed feels very sad right 
All right, now it's time to learn a Bible verse. In the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 1, we read, Blessed are they whose ways are blameless and who walk in the law of the Lord. Children, please repeat after me. We shall learn this Bible verse. Blessed are those whose ways are blameless and who walk in the law of the Lord. Very good. Did you learn this Bible verse? Okay. Try to repeat this word during your evening prayer. Okay, children? Good children are those who learn the Bible verse and practice this in your daily life. Let us now learn a lovely song welcoming Jesus into our hearts. Are you all ready, children? Come on, we are obedient children of Jesus. Let's start. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, come in to stay, come into my heart. Lord Jesus. Come on all of you, repeat after me. Isn't that a beautiful song? Inviting Jesus into our hearts. Come on, let us all sing. Into my heart, into my heart, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Come in today, Come in to stay, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. Did you all enjoy the song, dear children? Yes? Great! After hearing about the disobedience of Adam and Eve, let us take a decision. Now, what is the decision we are going to take? Grade 3. Yes, the decision is, I will always obey God, my parents, my elders and do not do anything wrong against my God and myself. Remember that if you follow this decision, we will always be protected, loved by God. Thus, we become the children of our God Almighty. Shall we do a small activity this week? Yes, are you all interested? All right. Now, children, I want all of you to make a lovely poster by taking a sheet of paper with your footprint in the middle, like it is shown in the picture, and the sign of love on both the sides. Make a nice title for the poster. To love God means to obey the God. You can take help from your parents, your brothers or sisters. Okay, dear children? I'm sure you will enjoy making this. You can make it more creative in any which ways you want. It's quite easy, isn't it? Make this poster, take a picture and share it with your catechism teacher before the next class. Now, dear children, it's time to conclude our class today. Let us say a short prayer to our God. I want all of you to join your hands, close your eyes, take a deep breath and repeat this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving me this time to study about you and the value of obedience. Help me to be obedient to you, my parents, and all the elders. Amen. So, dear children, we shall see you next week with the second half of this chapter. Praise be to Jesus Christ.